what up my virgos welcome back to my channel this your girl lady tarot t i am back with another reading let's see what messages spirit has for you don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel all right you guys so let's see what messages um spirit has for you virgo sun moon and rising male and female let's see what messages spirit has for you All right now don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe if you haven't already oh we got the world interesting the number 29 could be significant for you interesting Virgo and then we also have the first chakra Archangel Michael it talks about stability protection okay so Archangel Michael is definitely watching over you I'm getting a new beginning um, with this world card so the world is your oyster okay this talks about maybe you going out networking meeting new people traveling the world start like this is like a new phase a new beginning here is what i'm getting and you're definitely um protected but also the first chakra talks about our stability you know money but i'm getting like you are protected Archangel Michael is definitely watching over you as you start this new beginning. I don't know why I'm getting like, could be just, yeah, you're definitely watched over. Like you're being watched over. I'm getting like a new beginning. You going out into the world here is what I'm getting. Interesting. Ooh, look at that. Didn't I say that? Mm hmm I say you are with the first chakra, you guys. This talks about stability, shelter, money, okay? This is the root chakra. And we have door to value, new opportunities. So I'm getting new opportunities, a new phase. Some of y'all could be like, a, this is like a new opportunity. Yeah, I'm getting travel most definitely. Look at that journey. So I'm getting like you're embarking on a new journey. This new, um, this could be like a new job offer. Um, some of y'all could be traveling, moving as well with the journey card. Okay, as you can see, this person has like a suitcase. She's moving, okay? I'm getting some of y'all could be traveling the world or, you know, interesting, very grounded, new opportunities for money. You're walking through the door to value. Beautiful energy, Virgo. Damn, okay. The number 29, 2, 35, and 31 could also be significant for you. I know that's right, Virgo. Okay, new beginnings. Wow, we got separation. I feel like you could be, somebody could have separated from you. And this could be in regards to love. Maybe you're separating yourself from someone. But I'm getting like, somebody could have left you though, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could have separated from you. Um, or you, there could have been just a separation <clears throat> and a connection, a relationship. Wow. You have soulmates. So I'm getting you going back out into the world here, like traveling, traveling, new beginnings, meeting new people. I feel like whatever this separation is, this could have been in the past. This could have been even recently. Somebody could have walked away from you. Somebody could have ghosted you. Um... There could have been a breakup that you recently went through. But I'm getting, Spirit is like, you got so much new shit to be worrying about and needing to prepare for that this is going to be the least of your worries. You separating from someone. You may have even thought that this person was your soulmate. You may have even thought that, like, you can't do without this person or something like that. It's like, no. You have brand new beginnings coming up is what I'm getting. Tell me more. What other messages you have for Virgo spirit? I'm getting new, new love, new opportunities to make money. Okay. New connections are going to be built here is what I'm getting. Like you're going to be building new connections. You're going to be meeting new people. Okay. So if you are kind of worried and saddened over some sort of a breakup or somebody separating from you, spirit is like, I got you. Okay. Archangel Michael, we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Interesting. Let's grab a few more. Yeah. And look, we got calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations have been, yeah, I'm getting you definitely going to be meeting somebody new. We got flirt. This is the card of you like going out, socializing, meeting new people. Okay. And that's definitely what I'm picking up here with the world card. So I feel like, yeah, some of y'all 
maybe a little or feeling some type of way due to a breakup or a separation from someone it's like maybe because you feel like you guys spent a lot of time together or you had a lot of fun together maybe i don't know like but spirit is like <laughs> we you got new love coming in because that's what i'm getting with this energy um you have new love coming in new opportunities are going to be available for you virgo is what i'm getting so it's like if you if you are kind of in a slump about a breakup somebody walking away from you like that should be the least of your worries because i'm getting you have soulmate energy coming in you're on some sort of a path here we have spiritual factors um your love life <clears throat> is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path yeah i'm getting like you're on some sort of a spiritual path and yeah <laughs> Maybe this was meant to happen, this separation, okay? So you can be able to embark on to something new and start your journey or start this spiritual path that you're on. Maybe, because I feel like with the spiritual factor, some of y'all could be wanting to meet someone who has the same belief system as you or something of that sort. So with this separation, I feel like it was kind of meant for you to like free yourself because we got, yeah, free yourself and release this person, yeah. So some of y'all, like I said, some of y'all could be, kind of feeling some type of way very emotional maybe about a breakup like i said it, it, it's time for you to release this person okay i'm getting literally they they can't go where you're going <laughs> is what i'm going like it's time for you to release this look at, look at i cannot make this shit up look at that love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so a lot of you are releasing this person setting yourself free this separation or breakup is kind of like meant to happen is what i'm getting because i feel like archangel michael like spirit is kind of like i feel like i don't know why yeah i'm getting spirit told this person to go away or some shit like that you see the angels above the woman and this met ma this masculine energy is looking like i have to go that's what i'm getting like archangel michael or like spirits or somebody yeah i'm getting this was cut off for you to free yourself from this person so you can be able to embark on your path. This person can't go where you're going. Is what I'm getting. There's no room for two. Like, well, at least not this person. Like I said, because we do have a soulmate connection that you're going to be developing with someone. And this could be somebody new. So I feel like, yeah, it's like you had to release yourself from this person. Um, yeah, in order for you to start something new because yeah because you, you got too many new opportunities i'm literally hearing like you got too many opportunities to to let someone to fuck it up like that's what i'm getting and like yeah the angels are really guarding you protecting you um this is interesting let's pull some intuitive messages yeah because the path that you're supposed to go on is a spiritual path okay whether or not you're into spirituality, it doesn't matter. But I'm getting like the, the, the path that you're set forth is like yours to travel. And sometimes others are not meant to go with you. Like, and it doesn't mean that this person is a bad person. It doesn't mean that you might not meet back up with them maybe in the future. But as of right now, it's like your, you know, spirit wants for you to walk through this new door of opportunity interesting yeah like there's a new opportunity for you to explore like new opportunities for abundance for month like you know for you to travel and meet new people there are going to be like a there is going to be like some sort of a soulmate connection that you develop with someone but i'm getting this person that you're separating from is not the person that you know is your soulmate or you know that's what i'm getting um let's see this person could be secretly yearning for you as well <clears throat> so we have forgiveness forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward let's see So maybe for maybe some of you need to forgive this person. Some of y'all could be still holding on to a little. Um, let's see. Let's get one more. I'm not gonna accept that. 
Okay. Ooh, and it came back out again. Rekindle the passion. Try something you've never done before. And let's grab one more. And be careful about rekindling. Um, because we got this this new opportunity for you to, yeah, we got second chance. This person wants a second chance here. I feel like this could be somebody who walked away from you. But, I mean, you have a lot of new opportunities here. Got true love. And we have support. Lena, you're in a circle during this time. So, this person that separated from you and walked away from you, maybe even an ex, this person wants a second chance. Is what I'm getting. But I feel like spirit guarding <laughs> you so hard that if this person wants a second chance, they're going to have to come correct. They're going to have to build something like they're going to have to. Yeah, they're going to have to build something solid. OK. Yeah, like the situation would have to be like towards something sacred, you know, a commitment um, is what I'm getting. Yeah, but see, I feel like this person rejected you or like they separated from you, maybe due to some sort of addiction, maybe with other women, drugs, whatever. But this rejection is actually divine protection. Like I said, you are fucking being protected by spirit. Like I said, period. Like that's what, that's the, that's the energy that I was getting from Archangel Michael. Like with the sword, with the sword, like this is. Almost like protecting you. It could have been this was this could have been like a sexual, well, strictly sexual connection, but not long lasting. It's not long lasting. It's not enduring. It, you know, this is not anybody that you can build with. Okay, so, but I feel this person is going to be trying to come forward to, you know, wanting forgiveness, wanting a new opportunity. But I feel like it's only going to be because of these new opportunities that's going to be presented to you that's what i'm getting like period somebody mm, could be trying to be shady and like use you in a way that's that's what i'm getting because i feel like this situation may have been only based on sex i don't know why i'm getting like somebody shows up at a certain hour or like do what they need to do and they're gone or some shit like that like yeah, this person rejected you, but this was actually divine protection because I'm getting spirit protecting you. Okay, this situation or this relationship is not long lasting. And does this situation align with your values and morals? Yeah, and we got new love. And that's what I was getting like. I feel like you're going to be moving forward towards new love. Freeing yourself from this person. Yes, from this person could be your ex. But you're freeing yourself. You need to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And keep an open mind because this soulmate, because we do have the soulmate card here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. But I feel like, yeah, Spirit is saying for you to keep an open mind. Yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. We got a soulmate energy here that you're going to be coming into contact with or meeting soon. And you're going to be getting to know this person. Yeah, this definitely could be your true love. <clears throat> but Spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life. Think positive because I feel like this person here that, that you could have still had in your energy that they're very negative or draining is what i'm getting so it's like you had to spirit help you free this person like yeah i feel like spirit played a role in helping you free yourself from this person like i said i don't know y'all like with these angels above it just seems like they like yeah they could have been protecting you whisper something to this person to go away or some shit like that because they, I feel like this person was not trying to work towards something solid. Yeah. Because them rejecting you, this was a sexual connection. Or it was very passionate, but not long lasting. And I'm getting spirit is saying the only way that this person is going to be able to build something with you is if they want to like commit. 
they have to move towards they have to move forward with you as far as a union like long term marriage but I'm getting there's a new energy soulmate soulmate like somebody that you're going to have some sort of a soulmate connection with um interesting so let's see here i'm going to be using my um my wild unknown tarot let's see what messages spirit has okay so before i Pull these. I'm going to pull some arrows of love, one of my favorite decks. <laughs> Over that. So let's go ahead and pull some cards and let's see what messages Spirit has for you, Virgo. Before we <clears throat> before we go in with the tarot, let's see what message. Let me clarify. I want to clarify this separation. Tell me about this person. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take one pile. Tell me about this person who separated from Virgo. I feel like this is an ex. Tell me about this person. I had to split this deck up in two so it can be more easier for me to shuffle. Um... Let's see what pops out. Ooh. Eye of the Beholder. And look, there's monster hands covering this female's face. I feel like that's that's the masculine energy. So this person, not saying that, you know, they... It's something that you saw in this person that others may not see is what I'm getting with this card. That's, what I, that's the feeling I get whenever I see this card. There's something that you see in this person that others may not see. Uh, this person <laughs> okay this person may not be or they may not think that, that they're very attractive it's what I'm getting okay if you know what I mean um we have love cords wow so that yeah this person was definitely stealing your energy and didn't I just say, if this person wants to come back, they have to give you the real deal, a commitment, a marriage, okay? So they know that there is still love here. They, This person that's separated from you, they know that you still have love for them. And it goes vice versa is what I'm getting. Both ways is what I'm getting. That's why I feel like it could have been hard for, for some of you to free yourself from this person because you still had love. Yeah. Their energy, or they were still, their energy is still around you, or something like that. But this person knows that you had a lot of love for them. Is when I'm getting clarifying these three cards, clarifying the separation card. They know that they have to give you the real deal. They know that they have to come correct this time around, and that's the only way that spirit is going to allow this person to come forward. That's what I was said in the beginning as well. The same fucking thing I was saying. This person knows that they have to give you the real deal. This is the only way spirit is going to allow this person in, is what I'm getting. Interesting. Let's grab one more. Okay, hold on. Let's grab one more from the other pile. Wow. Tell me more about this person who separated from Virgo. Oh, shit. Yeah. It Come on now. I swear I cannot make this fucking shit up. <laughs> wow. So this person, you are in a relationship or partnership with this person. Your heart was on the line with this person. Uh, music or love love lyrics or something like that could have been significant in this connection. I said, Spirit, tell me about this person who separated from Virgo. Okay. So like your heart was on the line. Yeah. We have lover in the night, temporary. And then I say it looks like um, it looks like a masculine energy. It just leaves or comes whenever they want. Okay. Especially like at night, they get what they want and then they, they ghost or they leave. It was very short. 
This was not something long lasting. And that's the energy that I was getting as well. That the person that you were dealing with, Virgo, this person is fucking temporary <laughs> is what I'm getting. And they know in order for them to have something long lasting, in order for them to have a partnership, they have to come correct. Okay, they have to give you the real deal, and like I said, Archangel Michael, I'm telling you, spirit is watching over. You took a gamble with this person, this or this person like to take risk, like you know, yeah, that's what I'm getting. This person was playing. This was not something that you could build for long term. Like I said, even though there was a lot of love, like you guys still have love for each other. This could go both ways. But I'm getting this person knows that you put your heart out there. You put your heart on the line. And this person cut it down. Okay. So I feel like spirit is not going to allow this person to come forward unless they give you a real fucking partnership. Unless they build something with you. Because you have too many brand new beginnings to deal with an energy like this. Okay. You have too much going on here. As far as new opportunities, okay, as far as you traveling the world, meeting new people. So you do have an opportunity to find a soulmate. Like I said, look at that. You have an opportunity to find your true love. But this person that separated from you clearly was temporary. They didn't want to build anything long term. They were playing. They were playing games. You took a gamble with this person. And so now, like I said, spirit is in control. I feel like spirit is like, look, if you're not going to give the real deal, if you're not going to build something stable with my Virgo, then you're not going to have them, period. It's over. I'm cutting this off, okay? Literally. So that's what I'm getting. Cutting it off. This person has to come correct. They have to not be temporary. This person was temporary because they was not like they were not trying to give you anything long term. Clearly. So let's see what messages spirit has for Virgo. All right now. So I'm going to cut the deck and let's see, look at that. There you are at the bottom of the deck, mother of pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Look at that. Two of wands. Some of y'all could be thinking about traveling or moving. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. And look, the same thing. We got the four of wands. Some of y'all could be moving, making a decision to move towards or move to a different state. I'm getting travel. Like I said, those were coming up in your oracles, Virgo. Okay. You traveling and moving. And that's the same energy that I'm getting here. Some of y'all could be traveling, making a decision to move. Okay. There's your energy at the bottom of the deck. Stability. Okay. Grounded. I'm getting new opportunities. Okay. Focusing on your finances, your money. Okay. Interesting. You've been very patient as well. Um, you've dealt with a lot and you've put up with a lot as well, especially in this no good connection that you have going on here. But that's neither here nor there. Let's continue. We got look at that son of wands. Interesting. We got the player energy coming through. Okay. We have the mother of cups. And we have look at that. Ace of Pentacles. So I, I am getting this person maybe wanting to rush forward. But I also get an energy of, yeah, this Son of Wands, which is the Knights of Wands. Very charming, adventurous, playerish energy. Somebody rushing in, okay, because they see you as very loving. Um, but you need to go with your intuition with this person. I'm getting there's a new opportunities. Okay, again, I'm going back to the your oracle. We got the door to value, okay? There's new opportunities here. Ace of Pentacles. I could look at this as the door to value as well. This is new opportunities for abundance, okay? New beginnings. This person, like, 
could be trying to dim your light is what I'm getting as well. And I feel like this person is going to try to cut, catch you at your most vulnerable time or something of that sort. Yeah, they're very greedy for of cups energy. Um, that's the, yeah, they they have opportunities in front of them. This person is not satisfied with what they have and they're too busy focusing on you to, to realize what they have already or something of that sort, but I'm getting a very greedy. And then we have the rat, like this rat here, like, come on, <laughs> we got a rat here. Okay. Um, but I'm getting a very passionate, adventurous, playerish energy coming forward. Snake is what I'm getting. So we got snake and a rat. Okay, this person is, I feel, is not to be trusted. They're very temporary. Like, that's what I'm getting. Okay, very temporary. Um, and the fact that I feel like, like, Virgo, you're coming up as the um, mature energy, um, whether you're male or female. Like, this person is a fucking knight. Okay, knights are not meant to stay. Knights are like messengers. <laughs> Like, they're rushing in, showing you a good time, but this person is not the energy to build anything with, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, we got the Ten of Wands. I feel like they're coming with a lot of heavy burdens, a lot of heavy baggage, okay? Um, this person is, yeah, and then the Ten of Wands talks about a blockage. I feel like this person is trying to block your happiness to dim your light in some way come after these these new opportunities person is greedy i'm getting somebody being greedy they want to come in for this new opportunity they want to benefit from all of the hard work that you put in so i i really feel like with what you picking up on this queen of cups energy you need to go with your intuition okay this person comes with a lot of baggage as well um and i feel like taking on this energy or dealing with this person you're going to sacrifice a lot. You're going to sacrifice a lot of opportunities. Literally, this person's energy is going to is going to hold you back. That's what I'm getting from this Ace of Pentacles and the Hangman. Like, this person coming in with their negative fucking energy and their fucking baggage with the Ten of Wands is literally going to stop you and hold you back from this new opportunity. Okay? Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got all the elements here, okay? Interesting. If this one resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.